Well, hi there, I'm Denise Howell, and I'm here supporting my friend Peter N. Biddle, PNB, which I believe might stand for Peter No Bad Axes Biddle. Uh, Peter has a company called Trad Labs, and Trad Labs is making a wonderful product called the Etch Axe. I ordered one, I'm going backpacking soon. Uh, this is not the primary reason to own an Etch Axe, but it's one of the reasons I felt like it would be a good uh, addition to my life. Uh, I'll tell you some more in a minute. Uh, and Peter asked me, well, heck, I've never seen one of these things unboxed. So if you could, when you get it, just, you know, show me your reaction when you're taking it out. Well, it turns out it's already out of the box. I, I did remove the lovely U.S. Postal Service cardboard that was around it. But Peter supplied me with a really nice roadmap to the way the axe works and all of its features. So I thought I would share that with you at his request. Here we go. So there it is, the lovely Etch Axe uh, with <laughs> Peter's roadmap to all of its various features and uh, things that you might not otherwise notice when you first get your Etch Axe. One thing you might not notice uh, of course, I read this before I had even purchased the thing, is how light it is. It is less than three pounds, so it's really easy to pick up and use. Uh, although, and I have uh, an axe expert staying in my house right now, and I am not such a thing. He picked it up and hefted it today and said, oh, you know, even though it's so light, it's, you're going to get a lot of power out of this when you swing it. He felt like it had really nice balance. And uh, for chopping wood or whatever you might want to use it for, you were going to get a nice good swing out of the etch axe. There's one thing I know about Peter. He loves his tools. Uh, he's passionate about his tools. And if he has made a tool, it's going to be the best darn tool that he could possibly make. So that is uh, what we're looking at here. Let me walk you through what we've got. Of course, here at the top is the sharp bit. I'm not going to take off this sheath. Uh, if you're interested, there's a video on the Trad Lab site that talks about the sheath and, and the design of it, which was very carefully crafted so that the blade doesn't actually touch the inside of the sheath, so it's not going to get dull. That's really cool. Uh, of course, this is my favorite part of the axe right here, the secret bottle opener. Yes, folks, I have purchased myself a really, really expensive and highly engineered bottle opener, it turns out, but there are lots of other things that this axe does. I'm just really glad that Peter thought to include the bottle opener feature, because God knows, you gotta open your root beer at the end of the day. Uh, the rope cleat is right here. You can use that to thread a rope through and use the power of the axe to uh, act as a lever and help you lift or carry or God knows what. Um, again, there's a good video on Peter's site about uh, how you could use that rope cleat to carry a heavy object of a hill if you needed to. Uh, here is Beta. I believe that is the Trad Labs logo. Uh, the Basher. This is what you need to you know re remember is there when the zombies come for you and you have your axe. Uh, what else do we have over here? I'm going to show you this in a minute. The hidden saw blade. Uh, is a bit like a pocket knife, only a really, really radical one. Um, over here, this is, uh, again, we're going to be uh, on some back roads. I picked up some uh, flat tire filler in case I get a flat as we're driving through some of these dirt roads. But, of course, if the tire is really torn up, you're going to need to get your spare out. No flat tire filler is going to help you out. So I have this socket wrench here that is carefully tailored to the lug nuts of my car and also conveniently uh, fits right there on the edge of the axe. So you can use the axe, the etch axe here, to get your tire off and put your spare on should you need to. Fortunately, I'm going to have uh, two young teenage boys with me on this trip and uh, I can put them to work uh, if need be. Uh, I'm considering all this insurance against a flat tire, frankly, so uh, cross your fingers that we don't get any. Okay, I'm going to show you the saw blade here. Of course, you know uh, the axe has a conventional axe blade up here for splitting wood and what have you. Uh, it's got nice finger holes up here so that you can hold it if you need to cut something more precisely. 
Now down here though, this is rad, hold on. I finally figured out how to do this. There's a little, okay, hold on. I'm not the best uh, videographer here for my axe. There we go. Uh, there's a little pin right there with that cord attached to it. When you pull that out, it frees up the um, pocket knife style blade that is hidden in the axe. So I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna have to put the phone down because this is a two person job. But what happens is, see this little contraption right there? That then is unlocked. And when you twist it, the blade comes out. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hold on. Okay, now you can see that the blade has been extended. Uh, it is a nice little jagged sawtooth blade that uh, you could further use for sawing wood if you uh, found that your chopping also required some sawing. And again, those zombies aren't going to stand a chance against this thing. I mean, just check it out. There we go. It extends off the edge of the axe. So we'll go ahead and retract it back. Again, this is kind of more of a two-hand job here. There we go. Oh, I did it with one hand. There we go. Actually, it's probably better to do it with one hand because you don't want anything in here when you're putting the blade to bed. Go to bed, little blade. Ooh, there we go. Nicely seated back in there. So that's the Etch Axe. Thanks so much, Peter. Looking forward to keeping this in my car for emergency tire changing and other purposes and to using it in the outdoors uh, to great effect. Really excited. Thanks so much. Bye.